How's it going guys? I'm gonna do a little bit more interesting of a video today. As much as I love going out and catching bass in January and how rare that is, uh, I don't wanna film every video in a kayak of a muddy lake catching a bunch of one pounders every time. So, Jack and I today are going to go maybe scope out Brookville, maybe go fish it. We need some streamers. We're gonna go fly fishing for trout. So, I don't know how the day is gonna go, but for right now, I'm enjoying the 157 gas prices. First off, we're stopping at the storage locker because Neither of us fly fish much. You have your own rod, right? You have your own rod, right? He has his own rod. We're looking in the Sportsman's Club. Oof. We're looking in the Sportsman's Club storage locker to see if they have things like like waders, like a fly rod, or even like flies we could use. If not, we're gonna have to go to Walmart and Jack's gonna have to tie us some streamers so we can use for these rainbows and browns. I'll take them both. What uh I don't think mine's rigged up. What weights are these? Fives. Is it five weights? Is that good for trout? Yeah, it might be a little heavy for these trout, but I mean, it'll be fine. All right, so we were able to scoop up two fly rods. That's it. They didn't have any flies that we could use for streamers. Jack, I think, has a couple hooks. So now we're going to go to Walmart and see if we can get some material so he can tie flies literally on the way to the river. And also, I've never fished for trout before. This is the tailwaters below Brookville Reservoir. I think it has rainbows and browns, right? No brooks. All right, so we just got back from Walmart. We basically just walked around Walmart and scrounged for stuff that we could potentially use for building flies. Uh, we got some epoxy, some lovely looking brown feathers, some, some adhesive wiggle eyes, some tiny hooks that we're gonna use to build the fly. All together, a whopping $10. You don't know any steps of tying a fly, you're just kind of winging it? Yep. This is a very amateur operation. Not good. <laughs> Time to put on the eyes. Sure. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to use the actual like stem of the feather. You're only supposed to use like the actual feather part. <laughs> We're going for it. I wouldn't know. All right. I, I, I that actually looks like a fly. I'm trying to be optimistic here. I think we should get rid of the eyes. There's also a dripping on the bottom. Ooh, let me see that one. I have probably the like, least steady hands for this, too. <laughs> probably steadier than mine. So is that fly number one completed? Yes, sir. I don't know if we can call it a fly. <laughs> it's a botch job Walmart fly. <laughs> Let's take a look at fly number one. It's really not all that bad when you look at it. It's got awful. Just keep in mind, this was all from Walmart. Oh, I just got epoxy on my finger. How am I gonna, I'll hold it by the hook. See, now, this is this is what we got going on here. Some rather large googly eyes. I don't know what flies are supposed to look like, but that doesn't look all that bad. And, and when you Google fly streamer, really, now that one looks a little bit more professionally done, but I think, I think we got the hang of it. I think yours is even better. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got our two Walmart flies, and now we're gonna head to the river to scope it out. Might just do a tiny bit of fishing today, and might have to go back tomorrow because it is already almost four o'clock. The sun sets in an hour and a half, and neither of us have ever fly fish or trout before. So if that gives you any indication of how this is gonna end up, it's not gonna go well. All right, so Jack and I are just got to under Brookville. We're gonna. Go check out to see how the water's running to see if we can even use the makeshift flies that we barely know how to use even. Well, I don't. He kind of does. So here's the tailwater. It goes on for about two miles. But let's, let's see how fast it's ripping actually out of the dam. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look at how much water's coming out of there. Oh. That is an incredible discharge. All right, I'm gonna pop the drone up, give you guys a better visual of this area, because it's such a cool environment to be fishing in right now. Usually I'm above the lake. I'm on Brookville fishing for smallies, largies, walleye. Now I'm below it, fishing for trout. Such a cool fishing area.
Where's the bait casting button? This is literally air. How much is a... Mine goes down. Mine goes down. Look. Mine's down there. Dude, these could work. You think these could... Mine is going down, actually. How far, how far does it need to go down? I don't know. <laughs> Just... Jesus. Dude, honestly, this is pretty fun just trying it. Let's see how this Walmart fry is looking. Up at the end of your yeah. I think there's something. There is something you're doing wrong. I forget what it is though. I'm sure I'm. I'm honestly. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, I read. I read it somewhere. I forget. There's like one last thing you gotta do before you let the final one go. So are we out of commission? Like we're just we're done. I'm done. You're okay, done. You don't have another fly. Well, see here. Look at this. Why is it doing this? Why is it becoming like so? ultra twisted because your fly isn't tied right so when it's going through the water it's spinning oh my god yeah that. i just fixed that it was just like this but worse and did i fixed you, it did you fix it all the way down the islet like yes the islet? yes so it just keeps automatically going right yeah we need to stop okay. this is the most embarrassing video i've ever tried to film in my whole life this is really bad at least i got some sweet drone shots here you can keep that just keep here. i don't know about that Wow, I spent all that time on it, you won't accept my gift. No, all right, this, let's end this disaster. Well guys, I tried, even though I'm I'm well aware that this, this is probably gonna end up being just a big dumpster fire type of a video, which I'm not happy about. You know, me and Jack tried again to go down to the river this morning, but it, we only stayed there for probably a half an hour. The winds were ripping, it was freezing cold. I, I hooked so many trees and so did he, and he's actually fly fished before, so it was very evident that we were not gonna catch anything on these flies, and that we just weren't gonna catch anything, period. The water was like two feet high too, it was just not the best condition for trout fishing. Really tried to expand my horizons, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't wanna just be in a kayak bass fishing every video I want to keep doing something different I really really want to learn how to fly fish because I want, in my life I want to visit like a bunch of cool different places around the world and a lot of these fishing opportunities are going to be had through fly fishing so I that is something I definitely need to learn this was literally my first crack at it I knew it wouldn't go well didn't expect it to go this bad but that's okay it's a learning experience so th this winter is taking a big toll Berg so, do you want to be in the video yeah Hey, my name is Will Berg. I work at EAM Staffing. <laughs> uh, truthfully, Bula's a great guy. And uh, never go changing. Thank you, Will. Words of wisdom from... I didn't put that in your video. Oh, I am putting that in my no, video. Yeah, I am. And I'm also putting that in my video. So. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the cold here soon because there's very little fishing opportunities where I am at here in Oxford. I'm either gonna go north, maybe around Lake Erie, or either go south with someone like Perrick or John. Would it go into Lake Erie not be getting away from the cold? Lake Erie would be going more <laughs> towards the cold, but um, either way, I'm, I'm gonna find some more interesting filming opportunities because this area kind of sucks. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this dumpster fire before I just delete my channel because this was a bad one, but it's better to get out something than nothing at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time.